Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome back to uh, the fifth step in this series, uh, focusing on how you can make tweaks in your Canvas LMS page uh, to make some bigger gains uh, in your courses. Uh, I'm Adam Hofer. I'm one of the digital learning coaches for Keep Indiana Learning. Uh, and I've been excited about this kind of process of these tweaks that you can make. Now, I will say as we start to look at this next one that it does require some knowledge of Canvas. Not extensive, but if you have some experience with Canvas, it makes it a lot easier uh, to align all of these outcomes. So, you know, when we think about data-driven instruction, you know, sometimes it's hard uh, about collecting that data. And one, one of the many reasons I love Canvas is that it allows for a lot of this data collection and outcomes is one of the ways that uh, you can look at some of the kind of performance-based or standards-based grading uh, or even standard-based outcomes. Uh, and so let's get into how you can attach outcomes or really attach standards to your assignments uh, where then you can track student progress and mastery of those. Now, we're not gonna get into all of the ins and outs of outcomes. There's a lot more than what these short little kind of tweaking videos uh, can cover, but at least we'll give you kind of an introduction of where you can find them and how you can maybe start to add them to uh, your assignments. So if we look at our Canvas course, so I've logged now in here into Canvas and I've gotten into one course. On our left hand side you'll see that you have uh, a link called Outcomes. Here you'll see if you haven't set anything up, it'll ask you to set up your outcomes. Now, your district admin may have add, needed to add in uh, your kind of state level outcomes if you don't see them here. So, uh, but you can also import those files if your district admin has not done that for you already. Uh, I'm lucky that mine are here. So if I click on find, uh, I can find in my account standards uh, and go to my school. And now I'm located in Indiana, so click there. And I'm gonna look at the academic standards. I'm an English language arts teacher, but you can see it has all these others here. I can pick my grade level. So I'm gonna scroll down here, I'm a ninth grade teacher. And now I can import all of these, or I can choose if I say no specifically which one of these I wanna focus in on, I can choose which of the um, five categories in the English standards I want. So I'm gonna import all of these here for uh, the time being. Uh, it asked me to do um, okay that. It may take just a moment uh, to add these. Uh, but now you can see my standards have been added uh, into this course. So I can kind of navigate through here and look at them in more detail uh, kind of as I kind of drill down at each level. And so I can see they're here already with some mastery level points set and you can change things you know, as needed. So that's kind of the first step. You want to make sure that your outcomes are in your outcome link uh, or on, in your outcome page uh, so that way you're able to find them when you start to make an assignment. Okay. Uh, let me go to assignments now. Now when we think about um, creating these, now you may be teaching a course um, for say an AP class or uh, an IB class. Those classes, maybe you won't find the standards, but you can create your own. So even if you want to have kind of a set of outcomes that aren't aligned to your state standards, you can add your own there as well. So I think that's a really great thing that you can do uh, is that you can add any type of outcome. They don't just have to be preloaded uh, state standards. All right, now, once your outcomes are um, loaded in, you're ready to attach them to different assignments. So I'm gonna start here in assignments. I have this kind of demo assignment made here, and you're gonna do this through the add a rubric. So if I click plus rubric here, uh, you can now add uh, all of your rubric criteria, and you can, if you have other rubrics, you can go and find them and add these outcomes later. Uh, but now I want to add in my standards. So I click here to find outcome. And now those outcomes that I pulled in are here. So I can go and find which one. So maybe this is about, maybe this is a speaking and um, listening assignment. Uh, so maybe I'm gonna go here and maybe I wanna add, um, maybe I wanna add this one. So I'm gonna add this. You can see it drops it right into that rubric. And so I can go in and I can add in the next one as well. So I can import all of these straight into my rubric, which is so awesome when I think about like uh, how great this is long term for able to, you know, like to allow you to record and you know follow along with data. Like it's dropping it right here, and you can use some of these things. So uh, you can 
not post your outcomes to your learning mastery gradebook. Uh, and you, you can you know hide the scores. It can just be so uh, you're kind of tracking it. So if you're not necessarily scoring them, there's a lot of things you can do uh, with outcomes here. Uh, so once I create that rubric, now I have it. Uh, and now I'm able to, when I go to speed grader, this will pop up and I can check along the way uh, how my students are doing on these specific outcomes. And I then will get a report uh, and I can look at the analytic analytics and I can look at the outcomes to see how my students are doing in my learning mastery gradebook that you'll have to set up. Um, but other than that, you have all of that data ready to go uh, when it comes to your standards. So I think about you know, the power that these outcomes bring. I just, there's so much. Um, and so you can also attach this to quizzes through quiz, um, uh, through your question banks. So you can create a whole bank of questions and attach it to a certain standard. So you can kind of gauge how students are doing on those as well. So um, as I said before, you know, this is just a very, very quick introduction to outcomes. Uh, and there's a lot more that you can do with them. There's a lot of things that you can add, uh, but the first steps, be to make sure that you have them and add them into your outcomes link uh, so you have them ready and available and to start adding, adding them to the assignments. So when we think about, again, these little tweaks that you can do when you're thinking about uh, tracking data, this is huge. This is huge. So I hope you find that helpful as you start to think about how you can maybe uh, start attaching outcomes to your Canvas assignments. Uh, I hope you'll join me for the final uh, tweak to do in your Canvas LMS.